Surprise! <laughs> Hi! What's up? It's Ariana Davis from season one of Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. I know, you're probably thinking, why is she here? What is she doing auditioning for season two? Lizzo's lawyer is firing back at recent allegations made against the superstar by her former dancers. On Thursday, Marty Singer released a video of one of the performers auditioning for season two of the Juice Songstress's hit reality show, Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls, where she revealed she wanted to be a singer. If I was to be chosen for the cast of season two of Watch Out for the Big Girls, I, <laughs> I don't know. I just think that it would mean the world to me to share my voice. I think my voice has gone quiet for too long. And I think that I have a story that people need to hear because I think they can relate to it. And I think it can help change lives. And you know, do what Lizzo's doing. I I look up to her so much and I just want to follow in her footsteps and not only be an amazing dancer, but be an amazing singer and storyteller. I love to write music. I love to sing. And I just want to share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Yeah. Um, choose me to be part of the singing group. I know I'm already a dancer, but I can sing too. So yeah. <laughs> I guess this is my audition. <laughs> In addition, the attorney shared an adjacent statement providing context to the clip, writing, The lawsuit filed by the three dancers against Lizzo and the other defendants is specious and without merit. Evidence of this being a sham lawsuit is confirmed by one of the plaintiffs, Ariana Davis, in her own words in her video interview for season two of Watch Out for the Big Girls in April 2023, which she made after the European tour, after virtually all of her alleged claims referred to in her lawsuit had already occurred. Notwithstanding her claims in the lawsuit that it was so horrible to work with Lizzo as a dancer after being on tour with Lizzo, she actually auditioned to continue working with Lizzo as a singer on an upcoming tour as part of a girl group. Ariana then released a response reacting to the video, saying, of course I wasn't going to say anything negative about the camp while I was still in it. Right up until the last minute, I didn't realize how bad it was and how much I was being taken advantage of. I just genuinely wanted to save my job. The video further explains how much I was trying to please Lizzo. But it was such a toxic work environment because throughout all the abuse, I was still trying to please her and make her think that I was good enough. This video was done before the bulk of our allegations occurred, and this was just me grasping at straws and my last attempt to make her see how committed I was to being loyal to her and her camp. In an interview with Access Hollywood's Zuri Hall on Wednesday, Ariana opened up more about what she thinks when she looks back. It was never enough until you're out of it to realize that this was wrong and oh man I spent so much time being loyal to her. I spent so much time um, advocating for her, even when people would ask me, how's, how's it working with Lizzo? I'm like, you know, she's great. She's, she's a great, but she's definitely goal oriented. She's a, I mean, mm -hmm. there's interviews on interviews of me talking about Lizzo and how amazing she is. Um, but, but you're never gonna say anything bad about your boss when you're still right. working for her. Earlier in the day, Lizzo broke her silence on the shocking claims when she shared a lengthy statement on Twitter, writing, These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually, I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. The lawsuit filed by three of Lizzo's former dancers, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez, includes allegations of sexual harassment, creating a hostile work environment, and weight shaming. Lizzo continued in her statement, 
As an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. The Grammy winner also denied weight shaming anyone, adding, I am not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I am not the villain that people and the media have portrayed me to be these last few days. I am very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. The 35 year old concluded, I'm hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in the world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who has reached out in support to lift me up during this difficult time. Access Hollywood's Zuri Hall sat down with Ariana and Crystal on Wednesday, the day before Lizzo's statement was released, to share their side of the story. I had been feeling for a long time that they were having, you know, a problem with my weight gain. She even says that, um, you know, dancers get fired for gaining weight. Um, and and she, you're saying, because you did accuse Lizzo of weight shaming you, so these are the yeah. sorts of things that she said. These are the sorts of things, it, uh, and I want to be clear too that it, uh, in order to weight shame someone, you don't necessarily have to be like, you're fat, you're gonna get fired. It was much more of a nuanced thing, like, what's wrong with you? She, she would ask me, what, what's going on with you? Uh, you seem different, you're not like the same as you used to be. Are you ready? Are you ready is a question. I'm the plaintiffs also claim that at an after party, at a strip club in Amsterdam's red light district where sexually explicit acts were happening on stage, Lizzo pressured dancers to touch the nude performers. I briefly touched the, the performer and... Um, so did you feel pressured to I touch absolutely felt against pressure. your will? I absolutely felt pressured, absolutely. Um, I didn't want to be there. I was there to, you know, be good enough for Lizzo. How did you feel mentally when you actually did that? I think I went numb, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, I've never done anything like that in my life. Um, sorry, it's just, I just, it's crazy. I, I've never done that. Explain to me the moment when you were fired, Aya. Oh God, when I was fired, she had, it was an ambush meeting, by the way, on our off day. Mm -hmm. We were told to come in um, to do a measure, to get measurements for wardrobe. I was uh, terminated in the hotel lobby. Um, and she wouldn't uh, speak to me either. Mm. I did request to uh, speak to her just to kind of get further clarity because they did it under the guise of budget cuts, but then um, was planning to bring another dancer in less than 24 hours later, so. So it felt like you were in fact replaced. Yeah, retaliated um, against her, yeah. Rodriguez wasn't fired. She later resigned over the alleged appalling behavior. What do you ladies hope to achieve in the end with this lawsuit. It just feels very good to be a part of something that gave other um, women and artists, um, I guess the outlet um, to or the strength to come forward and share their story as well.